are the best. Very smart. That dog could probably world. drive that bike. They really are. All well, right. uh, I don't know about Opie. He might be feeling this. Snow, ice, wintertime temperatures, they can pose dangers for our pets. Mm -hmm. That's right. So to help you and your critters ride out this unseasonably cold weather, ride out. Get mm, it? Got it. Uh, Kristen Levine, our Wizard of Paws, is here. And she's got the scoop on keeping pets safe and fit as the temperatures dip. And here she is, the lovely Kristen Levine, with a couple with of her friends. favorite friends. You know, Hi. I don't so travel without again. pets. Thank you. Good Very to see you good. as well. Kristen writes an uh, article for our local paper, and she's also involved in our annual pet telethon. So it's always, okay. always great to see you here. Thank you so hey, much. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> you have three very important tips for us today. Absolutely. This has been one of the coldest weathers any of us can remember. And it's really important to make sure that our pets are winterized because we still have a few weeks of winter left. We're going to find out tomorrow on Groundhog Day just how much winter we have left. And I but think a lot of people think just because they have fur, they've got a built-in fur coat, they're not going to freeze. Right. It really, it really depends on the breed, too. Some breeds, like working dog breeds and, and sporting breeds, they're, you know, they're hardier. They can handle colder temperatures. But the biggest danger is prolonged exposure to temperatures below freezing. Mm -hmm. And there are some ways that you can keep your pet warm during those crazy cold nights. Um, number one, hopefully you bring your pets inside. Well, yes. I mean, some people are just in the mindset in. that because just because they're dogs, they should be outside because they're dogs. Well, right. that's, that's not, not my mindset, but I do yeah. understand that right. many dogs lead, lead wonderful lives outdoors. Mm -hmm. But either bring them in on those cold days and nights, um, maybe confine them to a laundry room or a kitchen. Um, if they have to stay outside, two things are really important. Um, their bedding mm -hmm. and their housing. And I'll talk about housing first, and then I've got a, a bedding example. Um, the house should be big enough for your pet to stand up and turn around and be comfortable in, but not so big that the pet's body heat can't keep the air around it warm. Right, smart. And then bedding. Now, this is a great pet cot example of uh, a bed that you can use indoors and out. And what makes it so terrific is because it's elevated, air can get underneath it, and your pet's body temperature can heat the air around it. And so th that's the important part is the elevation. The it gets elevation. It off the actual real cold surface. Right. And also if this if the dog is on a damp surface or cat, um, you want them off cold and damp do not go well together. No, <laughs> they do, they do not. not. So, yeah, let's they do, do that. Not. Let's punch down. Um, and then also Actually, you can this particular cot has a, um, an all weather mat that goes on top of it, but you could put a blanket or a towel on top mm. as well. And that the same principle works in the summertime too. It'll keep your pet cooler because it's elevated. That's so it's nice. kind of an all year all year thing. You can watch for signs too in your animals. If they're shivering, obviously that's yes. a sign. Four big ones. Shivering, um, if they get lethargic, if they become kind of uncoordinated. And you might not notice this, but if their blood pressure or um, uh, uh, heart rate rises or, or decreases, uh -huh. that can be a sign that they are experiencing hypothermia. Aww. And what comes after hypothermia is frostbite, and that's, some, that's very serious. We want to avoid that. We've got well, a, a yeah. frozen dish of water here. It's just been, it's we awful. do. I know. It, this happens. I mean, we've all seen our pet's dish freeze over, and how are they going to get hydrated with a popsicle? And yeah. It takes a, <laughs> takes a long time. It takes a lot of licking, you right? you got to lick a long time. And they're sporting some beautiful um, fashion here. They are. And these are just explorer coats that are great for dogs who um, belong to people who have active lifestyles. And, or if you're, if you're going to be outside for a potty walk and it's really, really cold, you know, put a jacket or a sweater on them. And, Dave, you're holding something that yes. I... I love these booties. They're they're <laughs> they're a little worn out. They're very cute, and you know sometimes you see you see these and you laugh at people who have their dogs in their in their little booties and their in their little uh, outfits and stuff. But it, they they can serve a very important purpose, especially if you live in a cold weather yeah, climate. Yeah, they serve multi-purpose. Not only do they keep the paws warm like mittens, but also they protect the the pads um, with this rubber backing from any salt or chemicals that we use to melt snow and ice. We don't want those getting on your on your pet's paws. We should mention these are both rescued dogs and wonderful they pets. Are, this is Josie and this is Lucky and they're both from Pet Pal Rescue in Florida. And, and, and Lucky wants a drink and darn it that ice is just <laughs> not Lucky cutting it. It's having a popsicle. <laughs> Lucky's determined. Kristen, Kristen thank, thank you. you. My it's pleasure. And these are both Lucky dogs because they've been adopted. Yeah. Always so great to have you here. They need to be adopted. They oh, need they do. Yes. Oh, they're not gosh. adopted yet. Well, well they're, they're coming home. Give us a they call. should come home with me. <laughs> you can go to daytimeonline.tv for more information, folks. Coming up on daytime, no slouching. Simple tips to help you land a job. No slouching. No slouching. Oh, that's right. Are you holding the remote right now?